We're pleased to welcome you back inside the Powassan Sportsplex, and if it seems like we're in a bit of a celebratory mood, it's because we are. The Powassan Voodoos have closed out their series against the Kirkland Lake Gold Miners four games to two. We're going to take you through the highlights of the home games in the series, three of them to be exact. We're also going to hear from a familiar face in Jordan Pierce, who somehow managed to find his way back onto this channel. We don't really know how, we don't know why, but we're happy he's back either way. Now here's the highlights of those three games that we previously mentioned. Bird trying to get a hold of the puck and he can't. Back to the point, shot by Ellie, shot to the goal! Eli draws first blood as Kirkland's up one to nothing. Elwood over the line. Shuckle, that's blocked. Picked up by Rossi. Rico Rossi. Going in. Rico Rossi. Over to Yash with him. There it is! There it is! Thomas! Yash with him! On the two hour one! There she goes! What a goal! As they tie the contest up! On a great passing play from Rico Rossi. Mark Allaire trying to get it out. Gotta be tougher on that puck, boys. Shot, oh, it'll be safe shot, goal! Next to safe. We're trying to keep it in the can. Now Bernard picks it up. Bernard, another shot. Oh, a goal! There it is! High over the glove side to make it one nothing Voodoo! What a shot! Peterson Galima, up ahead to Hurd. Hurd over the line, Hurd. The shot goes on goal! Kate Hurd! Makes it 2 0 to Mawson! What a shot! It's off by Rossi. Over to Woods. Woods get, get up to Scott, but Scott got picked up. Here comes Elwood. Elwood, that's a shot goal. It's not in the goal! He shot it, and the rebound come out, and he went to the net and put it in the. Open cage. Buck comes out of his own. Goes Jack with him. Jack with him. There it is. And an empty net. And that'll be it. Lawson takes a three to one lead. One nothing Kirkland. Back to the side. That goes in. Off the cross and stick and sit there. There goes. There goes the Tony by Tony going in. Goal by Tony! Boy, I thought that should have been a penalty, but it wasn't a penalty because he scored! Kachi gets it over. Try to get that in front of the net, they walk away at it, and they score. Try to get that over to Fioki, and couldn't get a hold of it. Kalima keeps the bucket. Kalima with it. Kalima, shot, goal! Kioke! Ties it up on the power play! You know, he can't keep it in the zone and the puck will come out into the, down into the curtain zone. Zoran picks it up, he's gonna get that up. Picked off by Yashvinev, goes in back to Shaka, SCORE! Thomas! Yashvinev, what a shot, what a goal! Up 
three to Voodoo! Now Elwood with it. Griff will make some changes here. Right in shot and a goal. He snuck in from the corner there. It was a great play by Kirk Lake. Uh, Kawasin's line, it was on for a long time. It could not get off the ice. Scott trying to get a hold of that. We were with the puck, that's a shot. Who oh, scored! Whoa, that was unexpected, eh? Well, it never hurts to shoot the puck at the net, and that has got to be a bit deflated for Kronkel. They just got back into this hockey game, and then they give up a, what, 60-footer from the board. We were watching at the chuckle. Off the post. That's three today. Back to Moore. Moore. There it is! There it is, baby! That'll make it 5 3 for Watson. Good fight, Eli. Juan and Discuss going at it. Shot goes in. 5 4. Rossi snaps that on the boards. Right out in front, shot. Oh, to save by. Penalty coming up to Kirkland for goaltender interference. Goalie's come out of the net there. Moore finds it. The empty net, there it is! That is a dagger! In the box! And surely that should be enough. And that's going to do it. And the Voodoo skate off and move on to the final Eastern Conference final to take on the winner, Hurston Timmons. Big victory for the boys after that marathon of a game last night. And in that highlight package, we saw some great saves, some great goals, and some great shots. And we bring up saves because we'll be hearing from Joe Verbetic again for a second time on the Afterburner. He really stood tall for the Voodoos throughout this playoff series. We'll also hear from Cam Moore as well. But before that, we'll talk to Jordan, who's on the other side of the ring. Thanks, Courtney. The Poas and Voodoos won 6-4 closing out the series and advancing to the Eastern semi-final. Joe Verbedek stood on his head the whole series, but in the last two games, including a triple overtime last night, he played 176 minutes, making 91 saves. And here is Courtney with our aces of the series that are Joe Verbedek and Cam Moore. I'm pleased to be joined by Voodoo's defenseman Cam Moore. And Cam, you guys take a 3-1 lead in the series here against the Gold Miners with a 3-1 victory. Uh, your one win now from advancing. Just what do you guys got to do now going into Saturday's game? I think we just got to keep doing the same thing. Our uh, PK has been really good. And just keep putting pucks deep. Hard work. Hard work wins you the playoffs. So just keep doing the same stuff. Now you guys, uh, all but one game of the series has been a close one. And uh, you did drop game three here at home. But... You bounced back solidly with the 3-1 to one, uh, win. What was the difference between last night's game and tonight's game? I think it was just bearing down on our chances. Last night we had three or four chances. I didn't go in the back of the net, but tonight we shot the puck a lot more and just drove the net and got goals when we needed to. Now you're part of the leadership group, of course, so a, a bounce back from last night's game and stuff, uh, that falls somewhat on, uh, I mean, some of the younger guys are going to look to the veteran leaders on this team and just talk about having uh, the A on your jersey all season long and, and being a voice in the locker room. Well, I think they like there's a lot of leaders in the room. All the vet, the core on their team, they're we all lead pretty good. So, and we just got to show the rookies that to uh, playoffs you want to win, you got to work hard and uh, you know do all the right things. Don't make mistakes. Don't make mistakes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, now you you have won a championship with this team, and of course you'd love nothing more than to get back to that point again. So uh, what is what is it going to take? What did it take that time? So what what are you what are you looking for from this team? Uh, when we won the championship, we had uh, four lines going in every game. We had 60 going, and a good goalie. I think a good goalie wins you a good play, uh, playoffs. That's the most important thing. But I think we have it all. So we have a good chance of winning, and we just got to stick to this game plan and do everything right. You touched on the goaltending a bit, and, and you have uh, two studs back there in Chichigoy and uh, Joe. So just 
what what are your thoughts on their play really, especially being a defenseman in front of them? They're both very talented goalies. I think either goalie could help us win, and uh, we need them both just in case one gets hurt or one has a bad game. They both need to be ready. So yeah, they're both uh, bright futures ahead of them. That's for sure. Now, uh, your, your season is winding down, of course, because you're now in the playoffs, and, and that also means you're in the twilight of your NOJHL career. Just talk about uh, your career to this point and, and what you've learned from the Voodoos that you can take going forward. Well, it's my third year here, and uh, I met a lot of great friends each year playing on this team. And uh, Voodoos, it's a good organization, uh, a lot of coaches, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I've learned a lot. learned how to, uh, a lot about myself and how to play hockey at a higher level, and I think it's going to make me get to that next step. All right, thanks, Cam. Good luck going uh, forward in the future. Thank you. That was Voodoo's defenseman Cam Moore, a big voice in the locker room looking for another trophy to add to his collection. Pleased to be joined once again by Joe Verbedek, who in our opinion was very much the MVP of the first round series between the Voodoo's and the Kirkland Lake Goldminers. And Joe, your first playoff experience and you're moving on after six games. Take us through it. Uh, yeah, every game was a hard-fought battle and the guys played well and it was just a uh great experience overall and I really enjoyed it and looking forward to the next series. Now you look to have started to round into game even more so towards the end of the season and, and really establish yourself now through the playoffs and and it, it is your first uh, venture through a seven game series of this level and was there any surprises or was it what you expected? Um, no it was, it was what I expected like every uh, you know ever since the second half of the season every game was gonna be tough you know it was gonna be tough so I just uh, you know, tried to play my game and just got used to, you know, playing in those big games and it helped in these series. Now, uh, I got to bring you back to un the unfortunate end of last night's game, but it was a triple overtime uh, loss and both teams then got on the bus to, uh, to come here and play a game and really as a goaltender who has to stand out there, you know, through the entire time and pretty much play two games of hockey last night and now play another full game today. I mean, how tough is it to do that? Uh, it was pretty tough, you know, just uh, well, we got home late and uh, just today woke up and Got some good rest and good food in me and just uh, stayed focused. Didn't worry about last night, about the tough loss and triple overtime, but uh, just came back and tried to play our best game here tonight. Now, uh, of course, you did play one of your one of your better games, of course, tonight. Uh, you did uh, allow four goals, but you stood on your head when it when it mattered most. And, and now you got to shift your focus towards uh, Timmins or Hurst. We don't know who the opponent will be yet, but really uh, moving past this one, I mean, you got to celebrate it for the moment. but. You know, going into Timmins or Hurst, what are you looking for? Uh, we're just looking for, you know, they're both really good teams and they're, you know, they were, uh, Hurst was seated first and Timmins was fourth, but all all series, all the games are close, just like, and it's going to be just like Kirkland Lake here. It's going to be good games and we're going to have to battle our way through. Joe Verbedek, who's really actually a brick wall after that first series against the Kirkland Lake Gold Miners here on the Afterburner. And a huge thank you to Cam and Joe for joining us on this episode of The Afterburner. Again, the Voodoos are moving on. That's right. They're moving to the semifinals of the East Division, and they're going to be taking on either the Timmins Rock or the Hearst Lumberjacks. And as of taping, that series is three games to two in favor of the Timmins Rock. A huge thank you to Jordan Pierce and to cameraman Mike, and of course the Voodoos organization for giving us the access that we get every game. Game in, game out. We'll see you whenever we see you on The Afterburner.